Hi guys, welcome to this video on reading comprehension. Now in this video I am going to talk about one aspect of reading comprehension which is your uh, tones of the passages. So that is going to be the main focus of uh, today's video. Uh, Alright, these are the uh, 10 main strategies which we use at CET King. A, we start the basics of RC. RC key question, the main major type of question which are coming in RC. RC common mistakes. This, this is a very, very important part of the workshop that we will talk about the various common mistakes people do. In fact, let me rephrase the word. If you do any mistake in RC, that have to be out of these five mistakes which we commonly discuss here. Para rephrasing your RC is next strategy. RC roadmap. 1.3 RC is a brilliant strategy which is used to answer all the informal or inference based questions like your uh, main ID of the passage, uh, purpose of the passage, all these things. TSPM is uh, another strategy which I use for the uh, solve solving a various RC type of question. RC 2.3 and 2 by 3 strategy is one more thing. And last is a C taking G strategy which is basically not the genius student strategy but a grieve student strategy. Grieve means the poor student. Fine. So this, this strategy basically works wonder for people who are not very good in verbal especially engineers who are scared of RC. Fine. So these are the a few strategies which we are going to discuss in the complete video, in the in the complete workshop if you join CET King. But today I am here going to talk about mainly the tones of the passages. Alright. Now RC, this workshop is one of the 12 main workshops which we have at CET King. Six workshop for quant. We call them the quant cutoff clearing workshop. Any exam you pick up, if you have seen all these, if you have attended all these workshops, I promise you that you will be able to touch all the cutoffs of every exam. Similarly, six workshops for verbal. One is the RC, one of them. The grammar, vocab, fill in the blanks, parajumbles, critical reasoning and logical reasoning. These are six workshops in verbal as well. So total 12 workshops are there overall in this CET King workshop series. Alright, so I'll start off with the first part which is the tone of the uh, uh, passages. Now these are the three main type of questions which are there. Tones of the passages, main idea and purpose of a passage. Now if you are getting, if I talk about CAT exam, out of 11 questions, 8 questions are based on these 3 types of questions. If I talk about CMAT exam, out of 15 questions, 12 to 15 questions which are coming in CMAT on RC, around 10 questions, 9 to 10 questions are based on these kind of inference based RCs. Fine. So this comes very as a very very important part of that. So we use may, mainly three strategies to solve this question. For tone, tones, we use 1.3 strategy and 51 tones. So this part I'm going to cover up today. 51 type of tones which are there commonly used tones, followed by the main idea. And we I normally recommend you to fill this uh, house of main idea kind of uh, uh, diagram while they're solving the RC so that they get 100% marks in this area. Last is the purpose of the passage. Purpose of the passage is basically divided into three things. Either the objective is to inform or to entertain or to persuade. Fine. Any kind of a purpose can be done to these three parts. Anyway, that's not the part of the workshop today. I'm going to focus on the tones of the passages only at the part of this video. Alright, so in this part, I'm going to talk about the 51 tones here. Our 1.3 strategy is done in another video. If you've joined CT, you can see that video online or will be discussed in the class itself. Fine. Before we start doing that thing, I want to do a paradigm shift in your preparation for RC. Because since school days we have been doing RCs. I remember in class 5th we had the first RC. There's a paragraph and a few questions based on that. So I want to have a, I want you to make a paradigm shift from what we used to think earlier and what is there today with this one slide. What is more important in a reading comprehension passage? A fact or opinion? Yep. Now most of the PU people who have seen a few questions in your exams will see, will answer this opinion obviously. Fine. Not the fact. But let me ask you the question then why we are spending so much time reading the RC? Look back what you've done so far in your life. Always we have done, what you've done, we have always read the RC. We always are focused on the text but not on the opinion. Out of 8 out of 11 question which is almost 70-75% of the paper have moved to a inference based RCs not a facts based RCs. So in the word if you are reading the complete passage you are stupid. Yep, seriously. So we are here to help you out with how you can speed up the time, how you can reduce the time by half by reading the passages, only the important information which you need to take out from the passage. So don't just mug up the words, don't just read the facts, look at the opinion, look at the what author is trying to say or the focus should be on author rather than the text. Fine. 
so in the rc text is not important but the author who is invisible hand behind the author behind the article is more important fine so we have to move move the focus from text to author all right that that's what i want to talk about now i want you to pause the video and look at this one page this one uh, line find out whether it's a fact opinion or a combination of both although many people think the 1950s was a golden era of baseball when the fan interest was at highest the attendance figures are much higher today even when allowances are made for the increase in population what is this a fact or opinion yeah now you might think it's opinion but it's a fact he is just talking about the facts which are done there fine you can check them out the facts are thing which you can find out all right another one of them can you again pause the video and find out whether it's a fact opinion or a combination of both the spread of the electronic calculators far more than encouraging interest in mathematics by making the boring calculation unnecessary yeah boring calculations now boring calculation is only for this particular person particular author not for everyone fine so this basically is talking about the opinion fine if you have seen this question you have seen these kind of question fijs facts inference and judgments now these are the type of uh, fij basically came from rc now for those who don't know the history part of that fia was devised as a tool to solve rcs and but ended up becoming itself as a question in in cat and cmat and other exams fine so fij is a very important strategy for uh, is a very important strategy normally used all right so let's move to the type of question which are coming we are moving on to the tones of uh, passages now my objective for you people in the next few uh, minutes is walk you through all the type of tones which are there in the Uh, passage fine so can you please pause the video and try to find out the tone here before we start solving a few more type of sounds this place may be shabby but since both of my children were born while we lived here it have a special place in my heart is it cheerful no is it if, if euphoric euphoric is more of a ce celebrating mode now this can be a right answer but it's not the energy is not there in this question fine the author is not very very energetic or euphoric both that these these terms mean having lot of energy involved but yes author is sentimental yeah because he used the word special place in my heart yeah so author's tone is sentimental yeah all right so let's now pause the video look at each of these uh, important tones absurd is obviously silly ridiculous ambivalent is undecided person who is undecided or mixed opinion or if a author is talking about a war he is giving some positive views and some ne negative views of a war that war used to happen wars are very good for the economy and all on the other hand he is saying war is very bad for the social purpose fine next is amused entertained finding humor expressed by a smile or laugh a tongue in cheek kind of thing angry obviously enraged very mad very uh, threatening all this kind of thing apathetic is lack of concern showing no respect for fine arrogant obviously arrogant bitter is resentful in all the things cheerful jovial happy comic is humorous now cheerful and comic are very very close words so please look at the real meaning of what they are looking for fine so i gave you a few hints for these are the 10 type of tones which are very very common in every exam if you pick up cat exam you pick up cmat exam pick up cet or any the exam these are very very common terms all right next one can you please try this this isn't the greatest apartment in the world but it's really not sorry it's really not that bad is he amused no is he apathetic now he is not saying anything bad about the world tolerant yes possible arrogant not at all possible So what he is doing is basically just getting used to the facts. He is just being tol tolerant of the situation he has. Can't so be tolerant. Fine. My objective here is to give you all the fifty type of tones so that if they come in the exam, you can easily pick up the from the passage. Now that's what my main theory is that if you pick up any exam, how many types of tones are there? Ten, twenty, forty, fifty. So if you combined all the fifty type of tones into one 
uh, video, which is this video. Fine. So tone is tolerant because not really that bad. So he's okay with the situation he's in. Fine. Moving on to the next part of the this thing uh, the, of the tones. Comic tones is humorous, funny tone. Compassionate is sympathetic, having feelings for others. Complex is obviously complicated and all. Consent. Condescending is obviously uh, is patronizing or stopping at the level as one's inferior. Critical, cruel, cynical. Cynical is a very very common word which is scornful about the other or bitterly mocking other people, not himself but other people. Fine. Depressed is obviously sad, unhappy. Detached away from the feelings, having no feeling, interest or all right with everything. Now, detached is very, very close to tol to tolerant in the last passage we saw. Distressed, upset, fine. So, all these common, commonly used words are there as a uh, tone of the passage as well. Again, very, very common. Now, can you please pause and try to do it yourself? Only if there were some decent jobs out there, I won't be reduced to living in this miserable dump. Is he acerbic? Acerbic is a bad word used for someone. Or situation is it bitter possible now acerbic is a very very high level high degree of uh, bitterness now he's not that bad in talking about this thing cynical is like we talked talked earlier about other people not about himself he's cynical he's skeptical about other people detached no he's not detached at all he's talking about the his miserable situation so answer would be bitter all right so the is bitter basically. Why? Because of the miserable dump, what he called himself. Alright, next part of the, the few tones. Earnest is sincere, obviously. Formal, gentle, hard, unfeeling, light-hearted, incredulous, doubtful. Again, a very, very common word. Indigenant is angry. Intense, intimate, ironic. Again, a very, very, very common tone of the passing in the exam. So, I can ironic is very, again, talking the unexpected opposite meaning of the event or word. Irrelevant, joyous. Joyous is happy again. Is kind of a comic as well, but not that close to that word. Fine, again, let's please pause the video and try to do one of the RC yourself. This place does not need some improvements, some repairs, but I'm sure the landlord will making will be making improvements sometime soon. Incredulous. Is he talking bad about anyone? No. Compassionate? Possible. Optimistic? Possible. Reverent. He is not praying or he is not worshipping the landlord. So compassionate? Optimistic. Two very very close term. But answer would be optimistic. Compassionate is showing emotions or passions for someone else. Yep, the so answer would be optimistic. So this place that on it, the author's term is optimistic obviously. Yep, another few words. Loving, affectionate, compassionate, all these things. Malicious is bad. Mal is a bad word. Malware, malfunction, fine, so bad. Mocking, ridiculous, nostalgic, Objective. Objective is again a very common used word. Optimistic we just talked about. Outspoken, pathetic, pessimistic or playful. Playful is again a very very common tone of the passage which is used in few of the exams. Alright, again let's please pause the video and try to solve it. When we move away, we are planning to release 300 cockroaches and 2 mice. So, we leave the place exactly the way we find it. Alright, now we are talking about the place. Depressed, okay, maybe possible. Sarcastic, yes. Comic, maybe true. Acerbic, no, no, he's not talking a bad language. Depressed, no. Sarcastic or comic? Now, sarcastic is a bad sense of comic. Comic is still a positive word. So, sarcastic is a bad word. See, this is what we're doing now. If once we move on to the next test strategy, which is the G strategy, in which I will talk about how we can solve all these questions within 20, 20, 30, 30 seconds. Fine. But in this video, it is more of an introductory video to all the kind of tones which are there. Fine. When we are moving away from this, obviously tone is humorous. is comic tone. Fine. Next few, reticent, restrained, person don't talk too much. 
the reverent, respectful, showing respect for someone, righteous, who is morally right or morally justified, satiric is kind of a, a ironic, is ridiculous, ridiculous, sentimental, serious, straightforward, sympathetic, sympathetic is again a very common word, tragic, disastrous, uneasy, vindicative. Vindicative is obviously revengeful. Yep. So again, a few tones. Please pause the video and try to note down these tones. Trust me, you'll see a lot of these tones are very, very common in the passage. Out of your passage, if I just talk about the tone of the, of the passage, four out of the ten questions are going to be based on tones. Fine. All right, one more question. Please pause the video. In this apartment we live in, it, it provides shelter. Oh, it's a plain, blatant vanilla line. Is it earnest? Is it intense? Not at all. Is it ironic? No. So leftover is objective. So anything which is fact based statement is objective statement. Alright, the tone is objective because not feeling any, not expressing any feelings. Alright, so now we have done through all the 51 types of tones. So I hope you are making your notes as well to see the tones. Now I want you to pause the video. Let's do a couple of questions. Can you please pause the video and try to solve this yourself? Tony space is crammed with tiny building next to the fine art theater. <coughs> the owners offer a menu of Italian food. They got the checker, checker table, dim lights, crusty bread. They also know how to make a healthy red sauce. Too bad they use it to drown delicate fish. They also seem to blaze everything with the truckloads of garlic. The service needs some work to wait. They don't know what the special are. Don't they think refill of water glass you asked for? The combination of fake friendly chatter to outraging nagging. Alright, now if I try to introduce to G strategy or put in the flavor of that strategy into this thing, is it talking good or bad about this plane? Is of this of this article? Is it the author is talking good or bad? Bad? Yeah. He's talking he's using all the name negative words here. So sad? Possible. If you look at the options. Plain and factful. No. Boastful, not at all. Sad or the critical finding faults? Very, very, very common tone. So answer here would be critical. He's not sad at all. He's not talking about himself. He's talking about a review of a uh, restaurant or a eatery or eating joint where he has been to. So he's being critical and fault finding. Yeah. All right. Another part. Can you please try to do this yourself? Same question. The same uh, passage, but the question is different. The writer says he seems to he seemed to see us only as an automatic tipping machine. Now what is that? Now he's comic? Yes. Is he very serious? No. Is he sympathetic? No. He's threatening? No. Nah. He is sarcastic. Fine. Now this kind of a strategy we'll do in paraphrasing or rephrasing in which we'll rephrase the words in the paragraph according to our needs so that we can quickly jump onto the answers. Fine. So all this strategy which I talked about, which I talked in the starting will be taken care of. If you have joined the CE taking, then I would, if you not jo join us, I would recommend you to please join us for the workshops. All right. Last part, please note in your checkbook how much money you spent using our ATM card today. Fine. So now there are four questions back to back and there are six options. We have to find out which option would suit here. Is it sympathetic? Yes, maybe possible. Straightforward? Yes, maybe possible. Sad? No. Sarcastic? No. Irritated? No. Threatening? No. So is it sympathetic or is it straightforward? Is, it, is he feeling sad or is he feeling emotional about you have spent your money? Not at all. It's just a straightforward vanilla statement. Yeah, answer is B Bombay. <clears throat> Second statement. Hey, lay off your lay off. You don't have to nag me. I was going to do it anyways. Sympathetic? No. Straightforward? Sad? Yes, but the degree is little bit more high. Sarcastic? No. Irritated? Yes, possible. Threatening? No, no, not threatening at all. Or rather, he is being threatened. The answer is E. Irritated. The person is irritated. Because of these words. Next one. When are you going to take the garbage out? Sometime this year maybe. Now this 
question if i use a rephrase strategy you can get the answer within 10 seconds sympathetic no straight forward no sad no sarcastic yes now if you seen in this video only we have used sarcastic twice so it's a very very common tone irritated no threatening kind of but it's not the degree is very very low the degree is not at all threatening yeah he is just being sarcastic all right next part i know it's been hard and i appreciate all you have been to going through right now if you will just put the receipts on the counter i'll take out the paperwork for you and a difficult one no doubt about this what is all talking about i know it's been very hard for you i appreciate all you've been going through so athri is being sympathetic not straight forward not sad he's sad for the other person not himself it's called sympathetic or empathy empathy is a new word which is in thing now empathy is understanding the emotions of other people so this guy is empathetic of course irritating not threatening so answer is empathetic fine so if you not joined us please join us for your quant and uh, verbal workshops on for your exams yep you can call us on 9820500380 or you can go to our site cetting.com for more details all right thank you all the best